Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. I'm the founder of Love Stories TV and I'm here with Emily. And Emily handles all things weddings at the Plaza. In the lead up to the Royal Wedding, which we are very excited about. As are we. <laughs> we are teaming up with the Plaza to do all kinds of fun celebrations. So maybe you knew this, maybe you didn't, but Megan actually wants to get married at the Plaza. I got us the Plaza Hotel on your birthday for our wedding yeah <laughs> <laughs> on suits she actually talked about that and we think those were her true intentions but that the queen made her get married in england so we are going to celebrate for her at the plaza maybe we have a really big surprise <laughs> yeah maybe we have a big surprise <laughs> because the plaza is so iconic and it's like basically everyone's dream to get married here we have so many questions for Emily, so we want to sit down and ask everything we ever want to know about the plaza. So start by telling us, what do you do at the plaza? So I'm actually in charge of all of the weddings here for the last 10 years. Best <laughs> job ever? Dream job for sure. First question that comes to mind is, how much does it cost to get married at the plaza? Because I think people have one thing in their mind for a plaza wedding, but as you told me, there's all different kinds of weddings happening here. So tell me a little bit about that. Definitely. So I, as a rule of thumb, usually say it's about $100,000 to walk in the door. Then you probably need to add another $20,000 to turn on the lights. Okay. Um, however, there are definitely ways that, um, you know, we can do things that are a little bit more intimate and a little more... Um, low-key so we're, we're more flexible than you would think. How many weddings do you think you've planned at the plaza? I think a little over 350. What are some of the heftiest wildest things that people have come to you and been like Emily <laughs> make this happen for me? <laughs> so the story that I still continue to tell is when one of my brides definitely wanted to have it snow in July in, oh, in the grand ballroom. Casual. Casual. Um, and then, if that wasn't enough, she really wanted to bring the ice skating rink at Rockefeller Center. Oh, after um, my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> she, she loved that rock center. I think she had been engaged there. And she really wanted it to be in the middle of the ballroom along with some live ice skaters. And we worked it all out and made it happen. So you brought live ice skaters and snow into the plaza? Yes. She's a magician. <laughs> Rumor on the street is that if you want to get married at the plaza, you have to book five years in advance. Not, Fake news? Not true. <laughs> Fake news. However, um, if you want to get married on the first Saturday in June, um, you should probably talk to me pretty far in advance. <laughs> um, however, I actually just in this year planned a wedding in seven days. Stop it. Yep. Booked that, and planned a wedding in seven days. That's amazing. And so, was it wonderful? It was flawless. They were beyond happy. If someone's watching this video and they're dying to get married at the plaza, what is your biggest piece of advice? I actually love this question because I tell every single one of my brides, do not stress. So many brides think that they need to be so stressed out and in all honesty, when you're working at one of the best venues, and I think that we're one of the best venues in the world. I think we can all agree. <laughs> <laughs> and you're working with some of the best people in our, in our industry. There's no reason to be worried about anything. We have got every detail under um, our control and you should really just enjoy the whole experience and have fun with the whole process. I mean, she made it snow in the middle of the summer <laughs> at the plaza, so it pretty much sounds to me like you have anything to worry about. You've been here for 10 years. You've planned almost a year's worth of weddings <laughs> if you line them up every single day. What's changed since when you started here 10 years ago? I think that brides are actually really willing to take risks with yeah. the whole kind of planning process. Yeah. Um, before and when I was, you know, kind of first starting here, yeah. you know, every bride that came in was still very excited about doing all white flowers mm -hmm. and, you know, having a, a cathedral length veil sure. and, you know, just kind of like all those traditional pieces to yeah. a beautiful classic wedding. And now, like we were talking about, we can have it snow in July <laughs> and people aren't afraid to use color yeah. and people are um, more excited about bringing, you know, just kind of like more about like their own personalities into um, their weddings and it, it doesn't just have to be traditional and classic. We can mix it up. I love that. I've never been to a wedding at the plaza, but I have watched lots of weddings at the plaza. What are the behind the scenes like secret things that you know that no one else knows? Well, I'd say, you know, one of my clients had like a big headliner entertainer come to perform their first dance and y y from the audience perspective or the guest perspective, you never really do know what's going on behind the scenes. and Like that people are at a wedding and like a celebrity shows up. And a up celebrity and shows up and the it. curtains pull open and there's 
for this example, I'd say like Donna Lewis was singing "I Love You Always and Forever" That's for this insane. couple's first That's dance. That's like going to happen at the royal wedding. Also, I feel like I, mean, I feel hopefully. like surprises are going to like get <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so, if you get married at the plaza, you can expect some surprises. Or if you attend a wedding, <laughs> can someone please invite me to their plaza wedding? I'll invite you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why the plaza? Like, what's the number one reason that people should come get married here? Besides that you'll be their <laughs> wedding planner, which is obviously the most Which is very reason. sweet. <laughs> um, I just think that there is something really amazing about being a part of the plaza history. The history is already so rich, and everybody knows this is such an iconic hotel and building in New York City. But to start your marriage and, and hopefully the beginning of, like, your family here at this hotel, it's amazing to be able to come back year after year after year to the same place where you you know, started your own, your own story. I love that. And you know, you mentioned this once to me, like it's totally true. You could get married here and then come back for cocktails or come back for a tea or come back for other special occasions. And I always think of that Friends episode where she gets engaged and they're like, let's get dressed up and like go celebrate at the plaza. And to me as a New Yorker, that's like really rings true. And it's, it's so much fun. And people come here for their uh, engagement parties. I've planned engagements here as well. And then they come back, they get married here then a lot of the brides will come back, they'll have their bridal showers here. I and then that. what's really fun is that even after the wedding's over and people come back for their anniversaries, but once they start having children, they always bring their children back here. So there's just this very lovely kind of tradition of always coming to the plaza to, to celebrate whatever you want to celebrate in your own life. My One of my girlfriends recently had a baby and I bought an Eloise book from the plaza and I wrote in the book, like, I can't wait to bring you to New York into the plaza like I think that you're right I think that it like like holds a special place in people's hearts Heart, like especially absolutely. New Yorkers hearts thank you for hanging out with me thanks. in my new home the royal suite at the thanks plaza thanks for hanging out with <laughs> me thanks for br <laughs> bringing me here you're really the host so as we mentioned we have so many fun things up our sleeve for the royal wedding and all of the details are below for how you can participate if you're in New York or participate online and where can people go if they want to learn more about maybe getting married at the plaza themselves they can call me directly <laughs> just ask for Emily I'll, they'll, they'll find me call the plaza ask for Emily I love exactly. that that's your card <laughs> that's my card all right we'll see you next time bye, bye.